Reading this, you can tell it's not a good sign. In the last weekend of January, you would normally find White Park Pond frozen and full of people for the Black Ice Pond Hockey Tournament. The last week in January is supposed to be the coldest week of the year. It is historically, and you're like, we should be good. Chris Brown founded this tournament 12 years ago, and with two weeks until puck drop, he says this year isn't looking good. Not optimistic. I mean, next week it gets cold for four or five days and then it gets warm again. So it's just been that trend all winter long. Chris says in order to have this event, the ice needs to be at least eight to 10 inches thick. And when mother nature is unpredictable, you need patience and a good backup plan at Everett Arena just down the street. Plan B is uh, we're going to take it inside in March, uh, but hopefully we can still pull this off. Now, according to New Hampshire State Parks, all public snowmobiling and club trails are closed throughout this state. Now, we're here in Bear Brook State Park, and as you can tell, there's just not enough snow. I don't think we actually started riding last year until the third week of January. Um, so we're hoping for some positive weather. Over at Hooks and Power Sports, co-owner Jim Wally says that sales haven't dropped due to pre-order sales and other products doing pretty well. But the next few weeks could be tough if there's barely any snow. Yes, we need some more snow to generate some excitement. The fact that we've got some snow up north, the fact that there's some snow up in Maine, we need more of it, but that's helpful. But once the northern part of the state gets enough snow, it's worth it to get out to the clubs. Even when they don't have a lot of snow, the clubs do such a great job at grooming and keeping those trails as good as they can possibly be. So I would say, yeah, you travel where the snow is, but the clubs are such a huge part of what makes snowmobiling successful in New Hampshire. Troy Lynch, WMUR News 9.